I'm not a scammer, bro. A day of my life, I would never scam you guys. Just remember that, bro. <laughs> I care about you guys so freaking much, bro. I love y'all, bro. And I would never in my life scam y'all, bro. Good. You ready, everyone? On the count of three. You okay? One, two, three. <laughs> Scamming the people that support me. Doesn't make sense. That's biting a hand that feeds you. If you ask me about Speed's crypto scam last year, I would say he was a kid. He didn't know what he was doing. And people from Paradox, the scamming crypto shit, they took advantage of him. But if you ask me 24 hours ago, do you think that he didn't know what he was doing and what was going on? I would say 100% Speed knew exactly what he was doing because he's a greedy, fakest person I've ever known, scamming scumbag piece of shit who scams his audience and creators as well. He's a very annoying and a donkey person after all the things I've found about him. All the respect that I had for Speed out the window. I, I respected his humbleness. I thought we made the right person famous, but it just turned out he's just like the others, a fake donkey piece of shit. It all started yesterday when I received an email from YouTube saying that there's a copyright claim found. After like two weeks of making the video about Speed's Norway situation, just now there's a copyright claim found. I clicked on it and I saw his I show Speed's clips in my commentary video, fair use. That, you know, it's being claimed and they're going to be taking all the money from this video. And a question popped into my head. Why this video specifically? I made videos about Aisho Speed in the past year. Why this one? Then I realized this video just yesterday got over 100,000 views. So this was a manual copyright claim by Aisho Speed. Then I went back to the email and I checked the content owners for the ones who are copyright claiming me. I found Thumb Media Affiliate. This name is familiar to some of you, but most of you do not know what this is. I wanted to see if there was more cases like me, and it turned out that it is a whole graveyard of dead bodies on the ground. Literally, there are hundreds of channels, if not thousands, that are being copyright claimed the second they reach above 100,000 views on their videos. It is going to be the money, anything made after that, it is going to go straight into iShow Speed's pocket two years ago internet anarchist got a strike on his channel for showing a 30 second clip of i show speed and there are many more cases like the internet anarchist but i'm not gonna go through all of them if you want to watch the actual full deep detailed every single evidence every single creator who went through this whole situation being talked about go check out the act man's youtube channel with copyright abuse on youtube featuring i show speed and if you're wondering why this is the first time you're hearing about this why wasn't this a big deal back in the day well it kind of was but it died very very fast this is the very first moment where speed's community in the chat they made him aware of the situation and speed went to select the link to go check what's going on with these copyright claims and w once he saw it he did what speed does best play dumb a company called Thumbini is copyright striking all the chat how do i like chat how do i stop this from happening like because it's not happening to me like chat like how do i like stop this from happening The fuck? Why is this happening and why is it not happening to me, Speed? I'm sure there is, there's a rogue group of people who hacked into YouTube and are stealing people's money through copyright claims. Anyone who has only your content in their videos, only you, no other creator, but they will not come and steal money from your account, which is the biggest amongst all of them. I'm sure you don't know what's happening, Speed. A day of my life, I would never scam you guys. Just remember that, bro. And a few days after that, Gideon and some other YouTuber were on a Discord call. He told Gideon, call Speed, let's confront him about the Thumb Media situation. This is how it went. On a lighter note, this whole Thumb Media situation. Did you hear that, Speed? Can you talk about that? Oh, uh, what'd you say? Can you talk about that? Move on. You say you can't talk about it. Oh, okay. All right, no reason, no reason. I love y'all, bro. And I would never in my life scam y'all, bro. So it went from why is this happening to I can't talk about that move on real quick. And luckily, after a few weeks, after he was being pressed a lot by everyone, he decided to make this video on his least subscribed channel responding to the whole situation. YouTube asks y'all to stop spamming about these emails uh, about the cardigan and the thumb media affiliate. That is me. Chat, how do I, like, chat, how do I stop this from happening? Like, because it's not happening to me. The Thumb Media Affiliate, that is me. I care about you guys so freaking much, bro. I love y'all, bro. And I would never in my life scam y'all, bro. Just wanted to let y'all know everybody know that. So, would y'all guys please stop. Thank y'all. Love y'all.
That has to be the stupidest thing he could have done in this situation. Hey guys, just want to let you know that Thumb Media, I, I told you that, you know, at the beginning that I don't know what was going on. Oh my god, how can I stop this? But I just want to let you know that it was actually me stealing all this money because they're using my content. I worked hard for this and when they put me 10 seconds in their 10 minute videos, this is not okay, and that video belongs to me. I got here by myself. It was definitely not because of the people who were resharing clips from my stream. <laughs> this has to be the stupidest thing. This is the last thing I expected from Speed. You absolute pathetic donkey. You are a multi-millionaire. How do you think you got to this position? It's from the reshared clips on TikTok, YouTube, Snapchat, whatever the fuck platform it is. You're literally a multimillionaire who makes six to seven figures a month. And you care about a creator who puts few seconds of your videos. This is an exposure to a whole new eyes of audience for you. And, you know, they put some hard work. They make a video talking about your situation and talking about you. They make a few hundred bucks on the side because they deserve it. Because it is their channel. It is their full-time job as well. But you come forward and you claim that. And you put everyone else's money in your pocket. And you play dumb at the beginning. But then later on you come and you say that it's actually Thumb Media is me. Stop talking about it. He basically just told everyone, guys, shut the fuck up. I'm stealing money. It is my right. Just shut the fuck up about it. Now, I'll be very honest with you. Even though it was my second or third video, which surpassed 100,000 views. And yes, there was like changing money in this type of videos for me. But I don't give a shit about those few hundred bucks that, you know, I'm losing. It's the type of person that speed is. Imagine being this being a, this greedy fucker how did he get away with it well his audience are nine ten years old they don't really give a shit about these things even the adults they don't really give a shit but some do let me put it this way for you so it'll be very easier to understand let's say people my age or adults you have a job right now right you go to your eight hour shift one day you were five minutes late you worked through all the eight hour shift but your boss tells you just because you were late for this five minutes, you will not be getting paid that day. This is how it feels. And if he didn't do it, he definitely gave the green light to Thumb Media to do it for him. This is 100% for sure. You know what? Speed, I made multiple videos about you. It will only be fair if you take all of it. There's a video with two, three thousand views. I made three dollars from it. All for you. C claim it, take it, keep the change. I want you to have it because... This was your video, and I'm sorry that I ever took your video, Speed. I don't believe that he's young and stupid and doesn't know what he's doing, doesn't have enough experiences. He has enough experiences, and he knows exactly what he's doing. Scamming people and being a very big piece of shit to the creators as well. Not only to his fans for scamming them, but to the creators as well. So it's a two-way now. It's a two-way thing now. But anyways, I'm done barking about Speed. I just thought I'd share this whole thing with you in case you didn't know what kind of a person Speed is. And with that, this is going to be the last Speed situation unless one day he does something really f more fucked up than these things and he gets cancelled for it and then we will be talking about him. Anyways, take care of yourselves. I will see you at the next 